Jim Hallgren with the National Self Defense Agency and the Academy of Self Defense. Along with me today is Chris Edwards. Today we'll be talking a little bit about what we call the GAP, the G A P. It stands for Generated Avoidance Preparation Zone, the G A P. All right, if Chris is standing right here next to me, turn and face me. And for example, I want to do harm to him and he's only standing there, I will be able to strike him before he's able to move. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate that from this, for a speed essence for the, for the film right here. I'm already there. So from, from this position here, there is almost no way he can react to me. The average reaction time of a human being is 1.2 seconds. All right? I can launch that, that strike in less than a second. So he's not going to be able to defend himself because he did not give himself the proper gapping distance in order to protect himself. So now he's going to take a half step back. And when he takes that half step back and puts his hands up here, not only does he have a barrier to keep him from striking him, which we went over in stance a few minutes ago, but I also now have to join his martial arts class because I can't reach him without stepping with one of my feet. And this is what we want the person to do. Now this is a good gap for sudden attack. A better gap would be a little bit farther back. And now this forces me, just like in martial arts class, to have to step forward to bring my strike into him. This is what you want. If you train all these years with your uke stepping forward and throwing a punch, then you want to force your opponent to step forward and throw the punch. So you, you generate the gap. The greater the distance, the greater the reactionary time. The greater the reactionary time, the greater the response. The greater the response, the more successful you will be under attack. So if I'm standing here like this, and now I'm bringing in the attack, and he gets offline, he's able to come back and do whatever he needs to do in order to disrupt me. And this is just a short talk on the gap theory. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you have a great day.